God, he run me on a merry dance. That is a fantastic eating sized pollock. And he is absolutely engulfed that lure. See it right there at the back of his throat. That is a perfect sized eating fish. With the pollock, I dispatched and bled them at sea, and then I filleted them at home. We already have a video on the channel showing you how to fillet several different species of fish. I will tag it in here and put it in the video description. Once filleted, all I did was I v-boned them and then I skinned the fillets. So there's now no skin on them and no bones. Hello and welcome back to the Fish Locker Kitchen. So I have some of the pollock that John has filleted, skinned and v-boned. And I'm going to show you two ways to do oven baked dishes. So these are really, really simple. Quite big fillets. Really simple and really, really quick. One of them is going to be really similar to how I cooked the salmon on the beach that time when you parcel it in foil. And then another one is going to be um, kind of in a big oven dish with a sauce on it. So first of all, I'm going to portion down the pollock and then we'll get started. We'll parcel up the foil fish and then I'll show you how to make the sauce for the other one. So we've got two lovely big fillets. So I think I'm going to cut each one down into three, I think. While I'm doing this, I've got my oven preheating to 170. I have a fan assisted oven. If your oven is not fan assisted, I would go for 190. Oh, they're gonna be four pieces, <laughs> three in a little bit. So I'm gonna do three foil parcels. So I'm just using a deep roasting dish. Let's do them one at a time. So first one, let's do this nice chunky one. And then we're gonna add in some butter. That's gonna create a really nice like cooking juice in there, like its own gravy. We're going to add in some garlic. Going to add in a few capers. Going to add in just a few bits of red onion. Some lemon slices. juice, not a lemon pit, just a light season, some salt and some cracked black pepper. So keeping the ingredients really light and fresh flavours. I'm going to do the other two exactly the same. All you're going to do, make it into like a little pasty. So they can bake individually. Okay, so my parcels are ready to go in the oven. So I'm just going to set those to one side while we get the next dish prepared. So you just want to lightly grease with butter or vegetable oil, uh, just an oven dish. We're going to lay in the rest of the fish. It can overlap a little, that's fine. There we go. Just going to wash my hands. Right, let's go with this. We want to make up the sauce. So for four people, well three people, James probably won't eat this, um, I've got 300 mils of milk. I'm going to add in about 100 grams of garlic and herb soft cheese. So this is a 200 gram tub so I'm just going to add about half of this in. about 100 grams of the cream cheese in with the milk. I'm just going to start to stir it together 
And then into that, we are gonna add two tablespoons of plain flour. And then just combine it all together. So I'm just gonna pour the milk and cheese mix straight over the fish. Gonna add in some cherry tomato quarters, some spring onions, and a handful of frozen peas. Actually, let's make it two handfuls. And then we are going to add in some cracked black pepper, some salt. Okay, so both of these are gonna go straight into the oven for about 20 minutes. While they're baking away, I'm gonna get some new potatoes prepared. And I'm also going to cook off some crispy pancetta and that's going to be sprinkled on top of this one when it comes out the oven. So the food is all finished. We have got the parcels here. And then the one that I baked in the sauce is there. And we've got some new potatoes and some crispy bacon to go on top. Which would you like to try first? Yes. Uh, okay. um, parcel me up. What do you want, Lizzie? The ones in the parcel, has it got sauce with it? Um, no, it's got... um. Like butter and lemon juice, so it's like its own gravy. Yeah, I'll go with that one first then, because if I have the other one, I'm going to make your plate dirty. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Thank you very much. Oh, what have we got here, James? Okay. Do you want to do a reveal? <laughs> Hang on. Whoa. What have we got? You want to try some of this? Mm -mm. You're happy with your tetos? Mm -hmm. right. Delicious. Should we go and try some? Parcel differently with the all exactly the same. All the same. Yeah. Whoa, you've got some good potatoes. Sure you don't want a little bit of fish, James? <coughs> okay. This is milk, garlic and herb, Philadelphia. Garlic and herb, mostly? Philadelphia. Okay. Cream cheese, <coughs> flour, and then just spring onions, tomatoes, and peas. Okay. You know what would make this one a bit better? Peas. Potatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes make, my mouth. potatoes make everything better, don't they? Fish is really nice. Mm. Little so big flakes. So potatoes. Okay. Potatoes. That is an awesome car. The uh, parcels of pollock, there was an awful lot of kind of gravy left. So all I've got is just a little bit of buttered bread. And I'll mop it all up. We do really enjoy home cooked food like this. 
If you have any recipes that you think we would enjoy or that you would like to see, please let us know. Mm. Okay. It is a very, very delicate taste, isn't it? The, I don't um, want it to be too strong. The, do you? No, the parcel one was um, the lemon in it was kind of like you were riding flavor. Yeah, bacon in it. Absolutely. Something to it. Yeah, just huge chunks of white flaky fish. You're having good tatoes? Yeah. Yeah. How many tatoes did you eat? That, um, that yeah. many tatoes. Mm -hmm. It'll turn into a tato. Which was your favourite? Uh, definitely the parcels. I was, the cream sauce was, was really nice, uh, but it was the bacon that made it. You don't really do cream sauce stuff, do you? No. The parcels, the way they were delicious. There was something in them, it was uh, just really sweet. I liked the... Please don't. <laughs> I liked the cream sauce one. What about you, Lizzie? Which one did you like the most? Um, I think my favourite was the parcel, so I really liked the lemon flavour. So there you are, sorry, two to one. <laughs> but Hannah's, so Hannah's the one that's <laughs> making it, so I guess she chooses. Um, what would you do differently if you could do them again? Um, I don't know, I've just added cream sauce to the parcel. <laughs> um, I think actually, cooked them for the same amount of time so about 20 minutes i would have taken the parcels out a few minutes sooner i think they could have they weren't dry but they were just on the badge um but no i really really liked the cream sauce one and it's a lot easier using philadelphia than trying to make like <laughs> Thick a little white sauce, cream sauce. Mm -hmm. i was impressed with how well it worked i've never made it like that before okay i was uh, yeah it was delicious thank you very much what do we say now, James? Bye, 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 bye. All the very best. Bye. See you bye. later. Bye, bye, bye.